If brushing your teeth sends bacteria into your blood, why should you brush more and not less? Anytime you brush, floss, or chew, a few mouth bacteria sneak into your bloodstream. Studies show toothbrushing causes bacteremia in roughly 8 to 26% of people, and chewing or flossing can do the same. That sounds scary, but for a healthy person, this is normal. Here's the key. It's tiny. It's brief. Peak bacteremia happens in the first few minutes, and then your immune system and filtering organs, especially the liver and the spleen, clear it usually within 15 to 60 minutes. In immunocompetent people, this transient bacteremia is considered clinically benign. Your defenses wipe it out before it can settle anywhere. Problems happen when bacteremia is high dose or repeated. Bad gum disease, dental abscesses, big infections like a UTI, skin abscess, or pneumonia. Those mean more bacteria for longer and a better chance they stick to a heart valve or a prosthetic joint and form a biofilm. Large studies show no spike in prosthetic joint infections after dental work and guidelines from the AAOS and ADA say routine antibiotics before dental procedures don't meaningfully reduce the joint infection risk. For most joint patients, good oral hygiene is much safer and more effective than taking antibiotics every time you see the dentist. We do consider antibiotics in high-risk people, those with prior joint infections, major immunosuppression, uncontrolled diabetes, or severe comorbidities. It's a personalized call between you, your surgeon, and your dentist, not a one-size-fits-all rule.